Now, if you're like me and never got the chance to attend an Ebony Fashion Fair, the Chicago History Museum is giving you one last time to see what all the hype was about. 50 years worth of culture and couture under one roof, and I was there to take it all in. The Ebony Fashion Fair was anything but your average fashion show. The models, they twirled, they sashayed, they danced, they put on a show down the runway, and they did it all in haute couture. Now the same risque looks that brought audiences from around the nation out to the legendary fashion show have found themselves a place in history. The Chicago History Museum to be exact. The inspiring beauty exhibit is one of a kind to say the least. You will never see this much couture fashion in one room at one time. A fashion fantasy of sorts, the collection features 68 pieces, ranging from vintage to modern, and all from big name designers. You have garments by Yves Saint Laurent, Givenchy, uh, Emmanuel Garo. So several of the pieces just by themselves, to see that piece, it's just remarkable to see one of them. But really, with the, all of them together, it completes a, a massive story um, and a massive piece of, of fashion history. Much like the breathtaking pieces you'll see here inside the exhibit, the Ebony Fashion Fair brought life, color, and change to the runway. The Fashion Fair launched in the 1950s during a time when even the mention of African Americans in high fashion was rare. That was the height of what is beautiful, that was the height of, of, of style, and a white standard was the default. Back then, a runway completely clear of black models was considered the norm. So the idea of a very skinny, slim body type, often long hair, with particular nose, eyes, and lips, excluded black women in particular in terms of anything related to couturier, high fashion, and style. The major designer houses, most of which are located in Europe, not featuring black models, let alone women, uh, African models from the continent. It was all typical, but the late Eunice Johnson, wife of John Johnson, publisher of Ebony and Jet magazine, sought to change all of that. Having quite the eye and the budget for couture, she flew overseas to the fashion capitals of the world and bought garments that were designed by and for Europeans and brought them back to the States for black women and men to model. An act that left many feeling empowered. Black people are beautiful. We can wear high fashion, contemporary fashion. We can wear um, the designs of international uh, designers, couturier. Now 55 years and 7,000 pieces later, Johnson's legacy of bringing color to the fashion world lives on through her daughter, who has plans to eventually revive the Ebony Fashion Fair. In the meantime, this exhibit may be the closest many will ever get to the real thing. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Jessica Paris.